we have been talking about SMART goals, the secret to SMART goals, and how to successfully achieve and crush your New Year's resolution to lose weight, get fit, and get healthy. Yeah. And we've shared the acronym SMART, Specific, Measurable, Attainable, and today we're talking about how to set realistic goals. Absolutely. So the tendency is January 1st rolls around, and if you, and this, this there have been surveys galore about this, the number one one New Year's resolution is to lose weight. And I know that there are good intentions, you know, the first week of January, you join a gym, you might, you know, try a, a too hardcore diet, you go work out diligently for two weeks, you hop on the scale, and the weight that you lost is not as much as you would hope for, and you give up. So this is you know, where we're talking about realistic. Yes. And ultimately, it boils down to your willpower. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's tough. I understand, you know, you, you, you have good intentions to lose weight, but, but ultimately, if you are not following a specific program tailored to your needs, if you don't have any guidance with your nutrition, um, and if you don't have anyone keeping you accountable, most of the time, that's where the failure happens because no one is keeping you accountable but you. And the slightest excuse, such as I'm tired, um, you know, I had a long day, uh, you know, whatever it may be, could easily make you slip up. Yeah. So that's where, to set realistic goals, we believe in accountability. Absolutely. Just like Coach Crystal, what she was saying, like this holiday season is a time of year where, you know, you can kind of be lax and, and, and um, you know, indulge on a few things that you don't normally on a regular day. But that's where realistic comes from, where, you know what, we're all human here. We all want to have a treat. And if we're especially around family this time of the season, you don't want to be that like, oh, I'm Mr. Healthy. But that's where, where it comes into why a lot of people have that mindset that they, in the new year, they want to like go gung ho. But yet, why is it that they're failing in like the second or third well, month? Well, for from one, there, right? their expectations are way too high. I'm mm. sure it didn't take you two weeks. Like, you know, studies show most people will last maybe until the end of February with mm -hmm. a hardcore regime and then give up. So, you know, it's going to take a lot longer than two to eight weeks to lose all the weight, not only that you gained over the holidays, but all the weight that you gained over the amount of years. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe you've been, um, you know, slowly progressing, uh, going up in weight for, for 10, 15 years. So how, how do you expect that weight to come off in, in eight weeks just because you're working out every day and you cut out carbs? So this is where we want to teach you and what we do with our transformation uh, participants is we teach them how to set realistic goals. You have a community of people who will keep you accountable. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we teach you how to make exercising fun so that becomes a daily habit. You really should be exercising daily and we make it fun for you through our online gym membership and the diets and the programs that you may be, may be on there for a short period of time and a lot of the times are too hard to do for the rest of your life. Yeah. What we teach through the exercise and nutrition coaching are lifestyle habits that we encourage and we know that you can continue to do for the rest of your life. So Anybody can do this challenge. It's uh, for people who are beginners, people who are uh, experts. It's open, it's very inclusive, and it doesn't matter what your fitness level is. Anybody who just wants support in a community. Even if you have injuries, knee injuries, shoulder injuries, neck injuries, you know, the, the exercises are made so they can be modified and the coaches always keep that into consideration. If uh, anyone or uh, to be more specific, I would say, for example, if you have health challenges like myself, you can do this challenge if you think that you are not fit enough and yeah, you want something to motivate you to get fit so you can do the challenge. And if, for example, you are not sure about your, your, your meals, your eating habits, and you want to, to change something in your eating habits, you can also do this challenge. So anyone can do the challenge, no matter what age, no matter what size. The challenge is really 
catered to all age groups and really focuses not just on the exercise component but also on the nutrition component and the mental health component. So anyone who's looking to get fit, anyone who's looking to work on their nutrition, anyone who's looking to um, work on the reasons of why they eat a certain way or why they come to the gym, this is a really good challenge for them to do. For me, what really makes it unique is the fact that it's such a tight community here. So it's not just um, a gym where you're left to your own devices. I am online component and everyone is still held accountable for their own actions, everyone's still held accountable to their, you know, logging their foods and everyone keeps a look out and gives suggestions for each other. So I think it's that intimacy that really makes the challenge unique so that you don't feel like you're necessarily on your own. It's really a combination of leadership in the R3 team of all the coaches that, that help, like Coach Crystal, Coach Nelson, and all of the ambassadors, and also the feeling of community that you, you can share, like on the, on the Facebook, um, uh, close Facebook. How do you access the program? The program is very easy to access. Um, it's online. Um, there are clear instructions as to how you log in, and you're given your password, and you just log in each morning. And yes, it's very easy to access. I access it on my laptop. I usually access the program through my iPhone because I always have my iPhone with me anyway, so no matter where I am, whether I'm at home or sometimes even at work, one time I got uh, delayed at the GO train station and I did a um, the, the train was uh, late for about half an hour and I was able to fit in a, um, a, a 30 minute uh, class online. So, they are wonderful. They're very patient. Um, Nelson and Crystal have been fabulous throughout the whole thing. They really want to see your progression. They really want to see that you're doing well, and if not, how to correct it, how to get better. So I, I couldn't recommend anyone better. They've been truly wonderful through the whole experience. Coach Crystal and Coach Nelson, they know everybody. They know you by name. Um, you know, you feel like you're a part of a family. Um, they know your injuries. If you have injuries, they know what your needs are, and they will make you work but not beyond what you are capable of doing. And sometimes, even if you think you're not capable of doing something, they will push you because they know your capabilities. Oh, our coaches, Coach Crystal and Coach Nelson, they are just amazing people. They are not only uh, motivating us to exercise, to get healthy, but it is a full package. It is body, mind, and spirit. So they take care of everything. They challenge us to be the best that to, to, to be the best that we can be, to discover ourselves, our inner self, that sometimes it is a challenge. It, well, first of all, they just have a, a very pleasant and outgoing and fun personality, but it's more than that. <clears throat> it's that the folks here with um, being motivated by, by Coach Crystal and Coach Nelson, they, they help you to understand it's not just about the weight, it's about why do you want to do this? What do you really want to do with this? In my case, I'm 50 years old, 52 actually, and I'm thinking, well, at what point in my life do I want to be at my best? Do I have, want to wait till I'm 60, till I'm 70, till I'm 80? No, it's now that I want to look good. And they helped me to through growth mindset coaching, they helped me to find that out. I totally would recommend this program. I recommend this program because um, it pushes you, but at the same time, we're forgiving because we understand that all of us sometimes fall off the wagon, but the, as long as we have more um, uh, good steps forward instead of steps backward, and we all support and cheer each other on. And for me, it's brought results. Absolutely. I would absolutely recommend this program. It's really, I think it's really great if you felt like you've been stuck or if you've been plateauing. Um, it's a really good um, kick to try and get you motivated again. Once again, because the community is so great, um, the exercises are great, they switch it up every time so that you continue to see results. I absolutely recommend the program to anyone who's interested. If you're ready to transform your life, join us. Join us. There's a, there's a whole um, 
uh, clan of, oh, we call them revolvers. If you are one of ours, you become yeah. a revolver, and we will help you evolve into the healthiest, strongest version of yourself. So Coach Crystal, what's our last episode going our to be on and when? Our last episode, how to achieve your weight loss goals, New Year's resolution, once and for all, it, we're going to cover timely. Yes. And it'll make sense. We're going to wrap this five-week series up. You are so ready. So let's do We're this. ready. We're ready. We hope you're ready. Let's give him a high five. It was this oh, way, yeah. remember? Boom, boom. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye, Thank guys. you. Love, love, love.